everybody, Carl Shoup here from Snorkel.tv. Welcome back. If you could just put your phones down for five minutes, that would be great. Thank you. All right, guys, today what I want to do is talk about an effect where when you roll over one thing, all the other things get tweened. So basically, you're tweening everything that you aren't rolling over. So when I roll over YouTube, you'll see the other icons shrink down. When I roll over Facebook, everything else shrinks down. When I roll off, everything else comes back to normal. All right, so this is actually a request that I get fairly often. So I'm gonna just bust out a quick little tutorial for you. Let's go over to Flash, and I'll just show you really quickly uh, the finished code so you have an idea of where we're going. Um, and basically what we're doing is whenever we roll over something, we're running a little for loop that tells everything to do a tween to an alpha of 0.8 scale x, scale y of 0.7, and we're adding a little bit of a blur. The thing that we're rolling over is going to be tweened to its normal state. And then when we roll out, everything gets tweened back to its normal state. Uh, you'll notice here that I'm passing in something called normal vars, which I'll talk about later. All right, so let's just go to our start file real quick. And I'm gonna show you how this file is set up, all right? It's very similar to a lot of my other files where on the stage I have something called NavMC and that NavMC contains individual movie clips like Facebook, Flickr MC, Yahoo MC, and YouTube MC. Pretty standard. Now we're also starting out with some basic boilerplate code where I'm telling that nav to have its button mode set to true which gives me the pointy cursor and we're also adding event listeners for mouse over and mouse out and we have two dummy functions set up right here. Okay, so basically all we've done is set it up so that when we roll over our nav, we get our nice pointing finger cursor, and we're ready to do some actions whenever we roll over or roll out of, sorry, mouse over or mouse out of any of these objects. Now, pretty much what we wanna do is tell every icon in that movie clip, let's just start with setting its alpha to be low. So in order to tell every clip inside of there to do something, we're gonna use a for loop. And I'm gonna say for, actually a for in loop. And I'm gonna say for var, and then i in nav mc. So for every object basically inside of nav mc, we're going to do something. And let's just do this real quick. Let's just do a trace nav mc i dot name. Okay, and here what you'll see is that when I roll over this icon here, if my output was open and visible to you guys, let's just put that here and clear it real quick. Whoops, there we go. So I roll over Yahoo and you'll see that it's giving me all the names of those movie clips inside of NavMC. When I roll over Facebook, it does the same thing. So I have a very quick and efficient way of looping through all the movie clips inside of NavMC. Now, what I wanna do is tell all those objects to tween. And here's a little paste magic, boom. Um, what we're going to do now is tell every object inside of NavMC that over a period of 0.2 seconds, we're gonna change the alpha, scale X, scale Y, and we're gonna do a little bit of a blur filter. So let's just test this out. And you'll see now, let's minimize the output. If I roll over any object, they all shrink, fade, and blur. Now when I roll off, nothing happens. So we'll get to that in a second, uh, but that's pretty cool. All right, so now that we got everything tweening out, we want the object that we're rolling over to tween in. So what I'm going to do is this. I want to say, hey, you know what? Tween max dot two. And the object that I'm rolling over can be accessed via e.target. Now I've used this quite a bit in my tutorials before. You can do a search of my site for current target or target and you'll find that tutorial. Um, but e.target is the actual icon that I'm rolling over. And I'm gonna say in 0.5 seconds, what we're going to do is basically reset all of these properties here. So let me just grab out everything that I already have. We'll copy it and we'll paste it right here and just do a little quick reset. Let's say the alpha is one 
the scale X is going to be one, the scale Y is going to be one, and that blur filter, we're gonna do a zero, zero jobby, okay? And then now, check it out. When I roll over flicker, it appears to not tween down because there's a tween that's saying, hey, go to an alpha of one, a scale X and scale Y of one, and a blur of nothing. When I roll off, it doesn't get reset, but we'll do that next. When I roll over Yahoo, you'll see now, hey, look, flicker went down because that's not the object that I'm rolling over. YouTube, same thing, and there we go. So we're almost there. What I want to do now is make it so that when I roll off of Yahoo, all of the other icons will come back. All right, but right now it sort of is working. Only the object that I'm rolling over is fully visible and shining in all its glory. So what we're going to do on our nav out function is this. We're going to do another little for loop here. So let me just copy and paste my favorite friend in the world. And we're going to set all of the objects when I mouse out of something, all of the objects are going to go back to normal. Well, this tween here is pretty much saying what normal is. So we're going to just take it and paste it. And we're also going to not do e.target here, but since we're using this for in loop, we're going to look inside of navmc for every object at an index of i that we get there. So let's just test this out. And here, roll over Yahoo, everything else goes into the background. Roll off of it, they all come back up. So this is real, pretty much super cool. All right, and it's working. Not a lot of code. Two little for loops, and it's working. And of course, some tween max magic and love. So what I want to do now, bonus round, thank you, Chef Rob, is go into showing you that I don't like having this tween here, which is exactly the same as this tween right here. As far as the properties are going, I pretty much have code duplication here. So in order to minimize a little bit of work in the future, here's a cool little thing you can do. Let's go to my tween others, and you'll see that what I did was I set up an object, <coughs> excuse me, to keep track of all the different properties and their settings. So here I'm calling something normal vars, and I'm saying your alpha is one, your scale X is one, scale Y is one, and this is how your blur filter is gonna go. All right, so once I have normal vars set, whenever I'm doing these sort of reset tweens, I don't have to paste a whole mile of properties in here. I'm just gonna reference that normal vars object. So when I'm, nav when I'm mouse overing something, everything gets tweened out, but when I do my sort of reset, I'm gonna tell the current nav item, hey, just reset yourself to whatever the normal vars properties are. And then when I nav out, everything is going back to normal. So just a small little code optimization there and a little bonus tip. Um, in closing, I just wanna, my voice, what's going on? Uh, let's switch over to Chrome. <clears throat> and I wanna show you that the icons that I'm using, um, I got from Blog Perfume. So there you go. Um, they came in very handy. I'll probably be using them quite a bit more. Um, one final thing, or a final, final thing. Let's go back to Flash. And I just want to show you that using this method, if I go into my NavMC and I take out another icon, maybe this blogger one here, and let's just put it right here uh, and move, well actually, no, we'll put it right here. Let's give it an instance name of, that's a great instance name, Carl, uh, blogger underscore MC. Next time I test my movie out, you'll see that it automatically works. I didn't have to change my code at all. Using that for loop allows me to tell every other movie clip inside my nav to shrink, fade out, de-blur. So I could literally have a hundred icons in here and this would work just swimmingly. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Keep up the great work. And I'll catch you guys over at facebook.com slash snorkel TV or on twitter.com slash snorkel TV. Have a great week.